I don't think so, because here comes Emma Earhart. Emma Air what? Emma's pretending to be Amelia Earhart, Earth's famous female aviator, or pilot. <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model, Rob. It's a tail dragger airplane. Is that what this is? Cool. <laughs> I think so. I love all airplanes. Tail draggers in tricycle gear planes, oh. biplanes and jets. Wow, <gasps> you know a lot about planes, TK. I just wish we could see a real one. Maybe we can. There oh. must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high-flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes. We want to see them. The Aviation Planet! That's it! That's the perfect place to see old airplanes! Yes, the Aviation Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Gear airplane. Oh, uh huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? Hey, wait for me! planes. 
airplanes are for looking at, not flying. <sighs> okay, we'll come down. As soon as we've had a little fun. <laughs> Eat my dust, Red Robot. Whee! Not a chance, Blue Baron. <laughs> Don't panic. Too late! <laughs> They're not bad, you know. They've got some talent. But flying a plane is one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right. Stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay. Line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Ugh, I can't watch. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay, now what? Time for crack! Yeah! Did it work? Emma's down! She made it! Woohoo! Yes! <gasps> now it's oh, Rob's turn. you're okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I'd say this is <laughs> one sky-high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So... What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the aviation planet to see real airplanes. Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying the plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up, and away. A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. Maybe he's up in the attic. Oh, 
It sounds like he's up to something. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! were you? <laughs> what? Oh, uh... No! I don't know what happened! It, uh... Uh... It just stopped on its own! <gasps> Maybe it's broken! Oh, no! Elevators are hard to fix. And it's hard to explore planets with a broken elevator! We'll need to get a new one right away! That sounds like we have a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? The rocket's elevator's broken. We need to find a new one. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can help lift your spirits. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? We need a new elevator to lift us up and down, not a place to lift weights. The fair planet has lots of fun rides, but not the type of ride we're looking for. The elevator planet! Perfect! Yes, the elevator planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to our old elevator and try fixing it. What? No! It's broken! We need a new one! You said so yourself! Yes, but be honest, Orbit. You know how much TK loves to fix things. Honest? What do you mean? I'm being honest. I, I mean, uh, just think of all the fun we'll have finding a new elevator. Let's go! Look at this one. This one must lead to a big tree. See? That's an up arrow orbit. You press it and the elevator goes up. 
It does? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go on! It'd be great if we wanted to lie in the sun every day, uh, but... Lie? Who's lying? Not me. Nuh-uh. No siree. Orbit, is something bothering you? What? No, I'm fine. Hey, I think I get it. Look, each button has a sign, and the picture tells us where the elevator goes. Oh, I see. So this green button will take us to... an upside-down tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, Orbit. The arrow symbols on an elevator tell us which direction it goes. Up or down. See? Oh, so that's what those buttons mean. Uh, I knew that. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! It was, but we don't need an elevator that goes to different places. We need to find one that fits with our rocket. Or maybe we really should try to just fix our old elevator. Or we could just keep looking. I mean, it's the elevator planet. There has to be an elevator that we like here. Oh, hey, how about this one? It looks like this one travels to a planet, just like we do. It's perfect. Um, are you sure that's a planet orbit? It looks kind of like a... Going up! <laughs> a countdown? Uh -oh. Why are we counting down? Three. That's not good. Two, one. a planet? It's a moon! And moons don't have any... Well... Whoa! Gravity! <gasps> ah! Oh, gotcha! Hang on, Emma! <clears throat> and I got you, Rob! <clears throat> and I've got TK! Whoa! <clears throat> oh! Phew, that was close. If it wasn't for orbit, we'd be in orbit by now. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here in the first place. This is all my fault. What do you mean? Uh, I fibbed about the elevator. I was playing with the buttons, not knowing what they were for. Then I pushed the big red button and... Oh, uh, I broke the rocket's elevator. Orbit! That's it! Now we know why Rocket's elevator stopped working! We need to get back to the ship! Ta-da! It's fixed! But how? You didn't break the elevator, Orbit. You just pushed the wrong button by mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have been honest from the start, but... I thought you'd be mad at me. You should never be afraid of telling the truth, Orbit. We're your friends, and friends are always there to help and understand. Really? Thanks, guys. But now we're whole days being wasted. Wasted? Not at all. We had a great day. Sure, we had our shares of ups and downs, but this was one of the best missions ever. Yeah! And I'd say it's a big <laughs> mission. Accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we thought Rocket's elevator was broken, so we went to the elevator planet to find a new one. We had a lot of fun trying to find the right elevator, even though Orbit was acting kind of funny. We could tell something was bothering him, and it turned out Orbit was afraid to tell us what really happened to Rocket's elevator. 
He was afraid we'd be upset if he told us the truth. But good friends will always understand if you're honest with them. And when Orbit finally told us the truth, we knew right away how to fix the problem. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Lemon juice planet? Hmm. I'm kind of sour on that idea. <laughs> crepe planet? Sounds close, but we want grapes, not crepes. <laughs> the grape juice planet! The perfect place to find our favorite movie time treat! <laughs> Yes, the Grape Juice Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the grape juice planet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh? Hmm. This looks like a giant juicer, but there's no juice inside. Maybe Mission Control got the planets mixed up. Where's all the grape trees? <laughs> Grapes don't grow on trees, Orbit. They grow on vines. And we're surrounded by grape vines. All we need to do is pick some of the grapes, squash them up, and we'll have our own homemade grape juice. Mm. <laughs> Yummy! Awesome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Huh? The grapes are all gone! What happened? Who took them all? Hey, I think I found some! Grapes! 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 What 
is that? Grapes! 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 Oh, look how cute! Those crows want grapes too. Grapes! 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 We sure do. Grapes! They're eating them all. Grapes! 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 are the ones taking all the grapes. They're not leaving any for us. <sighs> yeah, don't they have any manners? Haven't you ever heard of sharing? These grapes aren't just for you. So, yeah, uh, we were wondering if we could have some grapes too, so we can make grape juice. Hey! Grapes, grapes! Grapes, 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 Orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but they're not sharing with us. And it looks like they're going to eat the last of the grapes. Ooh, those sneaky crows. Maybe I have something in my tummy trunk to shoot them off. Straw? This won't help. Sticks? Hmm, that won't do. Uh... Huh? What are we going to do with the box of old clothes? <gasps> TK, you're brilliant! Alone, these things won't help, but together, just what we need. Huh? Grapes! 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 Okay, Orbit, you distract the crows while TK, Emma, and I get set up. Um, okay. I sure hope this works. Ooh! Grapes! 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 Come get your grapes! Super juicy, delicious, yummy grapes! Grapes? Grapes? Grapes! 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 See? Alone, the straw, sticks, and clothes didn't work. But together, they make a scarecrow. But will the scarecrow work? The crows weren't afraid of us. But we're just little. Our scarecrow is big. Grapes? Grapes? Oh, crows! Grapes? Over here! Grapes! 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 Thank you! should show them how to share. There's still enough grapes here for everybody. Oh, Mr. Crows! Would you like to share some grapes with us? There's enough here for everyone.
granted, we just make some new friends, but we now have our yummy grape juice for movie time. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We wanted grape juice for movie time, but we were all out, so we went to the Grape Juice Planet for more. Grape juice is made by squashing up juicy grapes, but all of the planet's grapes were missing. It turned out that a flock of hungry crows was eating them all up. Since they wouldn't share, we decided to build a scarecrow to help chase them away. But that's when we realized we were acting just like the crows. We weren't sharing either. We decided to give some of the grapes back to the crows and they return the favor by helping us make grape juice. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, crow friends. Goodbye, Grape Juice Planet.